Another D&T workshop that I run in primary schools um, is to make a moving monster. Well, a moving monster's head anyway. And we use um, a pair of syringes, plastic disposable syringes, and it can, you can uh, remote control the monster's head. Um, I, I did once uh, use syringes full of water, um, but you'd have to have a very reliable uh, group of children to give them syringes and water. Um, to make the monster's head, we use, I use A4 card, and the first thing we do is fold the card in half, the short way. Because it's a monster, it's not a problem if the f their folding isn't accurate. We then fold it in half again. And then we, we cut one corner off, but it has to be the right corner. It's the only corner that's got four separate corners. Um, sometimes I have to actually draw a line on it for, for some children. How you cut it is up to you. You can cut a zigzag line, curved line. I'm just going to cut straight across. Um, I ask the children to save the bits they cut off. These could be used for decorating later on. And then when you open it up, you should have a, a, a diamond shape. Next, we're going to cut along the short fold a quarter of the way across, halfway to halfway. Uh, this design is symmetrical, so we do exactly the same on the other side. We then fold it back down, and we've now got some sides we can fold up. Fold it at different angles, it's up to you. I'm going to go straight across. And once again, we do it on the other side as well. So we've now got a 3D head. I have used burger boxes, egg boxes to make monsters. But quite often I go into schools and make 90 of these in a day, so there'd obviously be problems collecting 90, 90 burger boxes. Um, next thing we're going to do is to make a tab to, to connect the small syringe to the top of the head to make it open and close. So you can just about see the, the fold down the middle there. I'm not going to cut along the fold, I'm just going to cut to one side of it, and the same on the other side to make a a small tab. We then open up the card, push the tab up and cut one end off. It doesn't matter which end. Close the head again and now for the first time we know which is the top of the head and which is the bottom. The top of the head has got the, the tab and you can see how well it actually operates the head. We're going to put the small syringe underneath so we'll turn it upside down and the small syringe lays on its side at the bottom of the slot. That's too close, that's too far away. That's where it goes. And we're going to stick it on with two bits of sticky tape. One near the top of the syringe, wrap the sellotape round, and one near the bottom of the syringe. And something that I should have done it's easier to put the syringe on with the tubing already on. But there we are, I've managed it. Okay, we've now got to connect the plunger to the tab. Um, the best way to do this is with a glue gun. Um, I do this project with year three and four, so they have, to, they have to queue up with their monster and I will stick it on for them. So I'm just going to stick that on. There we go be very careful with my finger and as you can see now when the as the plunger moves it will open and close the monster's head um, let's see if it works now let's get the large syringe I always have a larger syringe in my hand than the one in the uh, model that I'm making we need to suck up some air we don't need 20 about 10 this is a 20 mil syringe we only need about 10 push it onto the tubing and let's see if it works Yes, that's working. That's working fine. I've got control over it. Don't worry if your head doesn't come all the way down um, because when you start decorating it, um, it will close properly. At the moment, it doesn't really sit on the table very well, so let's stick it to a base 
a piece of cardboard here. Um, we'll just fold out some tabs and that could be stuck down with um, a glue gun or sticky tape. I'm going to use a glue gun. And when I'm running a workshop in a school, that's, that's about the finished point um, as far as I'm concerned. But obviously it's crying out for, to have some, some, some decorating. Um, I let the children come up with their own ideas, but um, I, I give them a few pointers. Uh, we could use um, googly eyes perhaps. Um, I provide uh, sheets of eyes they can colour in and cut out and it's got a fold line there and once again that can be stuck on with sellotape or stick glue or again they can queue up and I will use my glue gun to stick their eyes on. You could also make some teeth that's the way I make teeth and once again I fold a tab and because my particular monster has got a snout to make the teeth curve round we're going to cut the tab like that so it folds and then that can be stuck on and obviously add a, a second pair. Remember the triangles? They could be glued on to make ear extensions and perhaps you could use uh, pipe cleaners for tentacles, eyebrows. I really leave it up to the children to, uh, to decorate their monster and here we have my finished moving monster's head.